There is a war of words going on in Lansing as Governor Whitmer came out swinging against the Republican legislature today. We're about one month out from the budget deadline and both sides are trying to prevent a shutdown. Rob Maloney shows us how this fighting over funds could impact you. Much like with school children at the end of summer, it's time to get serious as we approach Labor Day. And that's the way it is here in Lansing, but politics have crept into all of this. The governor this morning announcing a big news conference where she called out what she believes to be do-nothing Republican legislative leaders. But on the flip side of that, they're not so happy with her either. The governor is a bully pulpit, and she used it this morning in a news conference demanding the legislature get to work and pass her $60 billion budget pronto. We have to get this right, and we have to get it right right now. And it's time for them to offer up something that is a legitimate alternative. Saying no is not leadership. Coming up with an alternative, publicly talking about it, and saying this is how we can meet the needs of the people of the state, that's what leadership looks like, and that's what we haven't seen yet. Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky says that's because they agreed not to talk about proposal specifics in public. After four different proposals, provided by the legislature to her. Uh, all we've gotten from her on those is unacceptable. No, no uh, negotiation, no retort, no offer for changes. Shirky and House Majority Leader Lee Chatfield agree it's time for the governor to split road funding away from the budget and negotiate on two different tracks. I'm calling on the governor to continue budget negotiations and drop her insistence on a 45 cent gas tax. We cannot hold the budget hostage because of her desire to tax every driver in our state. So the clock ticks. We're at impasse. The governor is warning of a government shutdown on October 1st. I talked to her budget director and he told me today that they're looking at all of the differing departments within the state that would have to stay alive or going if in fact there was a shutdown. So they're preparing for that. They say you can't wind things down in five minutes. In the meantime, uh, Shirky and Chatfield are saying, why are we even talking about a shutdown? There isn't going to be one. They said they can have a continuing resolution. But what they say, and Chatfield said it best, he said, look, we can walk and chew gum at the same time if we are of a mind to. Back to you. Uh, Rod, the governor pretty much put it in big red letters for all of us. $2.5 billion is what she says we need for the roads. Where are we on that amount? Well, the, the governor says that if the Republicans get anywhere in that ballpark, then they have something to work with. But Shirky and Chatfield have said 45 cents is a complete non-starter. And whether they can split that difference, uh, we're not sure. But it doesn't look like that's the case, at least at this yeah. point. All right, we're staying on it. All right, Rod.